Okay. This is for you, Drama Freak 219. In order to uh, use this green screen, we're gonna use our test subject. Uh, we're just gonna call him Kevin. I'm just gonna call him Kevin. And we're just gonna take this clip. Now, I didn't use any lighting on this one, so it may not turn out as well as it would be if we bathed him in light. Quick tip on lights, go to Ace Hardware, they have some clamp lights, get them. Get a box of fluorescents, fluorescent work best. And uh, we're going to put him on the beach. Now, as you can see here, the beach is over him. So, I don't know if you know what that means. That means we need Kevin, subject, to be in layer 2. Video 2. And we need our beach to be in number 1. I gotta fix the audio here. That happens all the time. All right, and now you cannot see the beach, unless of course you can, but you can't. All right. So first of all, we resize the beach, and you can do that by uh, clicking on this little film thing right here, and you can get rid of Kevin, and then you can resize the beach, all that stuff. Right now I'm just going to zoom in so you can't see the blue parts, because that's not good. Then you just re-click your thing, and there's Kevin right again. Now as you can see here, you may have some problems with your video. You may not get all the green screen, and that can be a problem. What you need to do is you're going to need to crop it. Look at that. You can already see it coming back now. Alright, so you need to make sure you get all the wall or whatever you have out of it. And um, crinkles and creases don't really matter. They'll still... They'll still go just fine. Sometimes I might have a little bit of shadow, but it doesn't really matter. Alright, and now we're going to click Effects, Video Filters, Key, and Chroma Key. You could use Color Key, but Color Key does not allow for adjustments at all. It'll just take whatever color it is. And uh, there is, uh, I believe, uh, blue and green screen. Mm, you know, to quote Sullivan, I, I, I wouldn't use that. Uh, chroma key here is, is best. Okay, so then you double click on your thing again, and then it'll open it up in here. Oh, well, it looks like I wasn't double clicked on it. So let's just make sure. Oh, yep, well, that turned out that was in uh, that was in our beach picture. Okay, so we need to double click on Kevin so he appears in the uh, viewer. And um, vi video filters, key, chroma. Alright, now you can see it's kind of start to fade away. Well, Here's what you need to do. These little things are they're kind of trapezoidal at the moment. You want to expand those. You, you know, I I find it best to untrapezoid them, if that's a word. And then you can line them up so they're red and the green. Now what I do is it's easy if you just take the top triangle all the way to the left and the saturation, and you just drag it to the side as far as it goes, and that'll go away. And then your other luma do that too. Okay, so now uh, we've got Kevin, but he's a little bit rough. Okay, but oh, that's another thing. You may want to make sure that there's nothing cut off. See, it'd be a lot easier if there was light, and you see, you can see that crease coming back to haunt us. But you adjust this, you may still get some chunkiness. And that was a problem. When I did Kevin's um, video for him, it, uh, had some chunkiness, I guess you could say. Um, but uh, yeah, you can fiddle around with the saturation and everything. But anyway, I would recommend getting those clamp lights really a lot. And by really a lot, I mean they're almost necessary for this to work. You see what happens when you try playing around with the luma too much? So just uh, green screen will come right back. And uh, this will also work with a blue tablecloth, but um, if you go to Party City, they're in... Okay, so you just walk in, you go all the way to the back, go to the right, and um, there's a tablecloth wall. And you just get your tablecloths there, and um, they work just fine. You can just tape it to a wall. That works. Make sure I'm still recording, okay. Um, you, you can just tape it to a wall, and... Um, That'll work just fine. Um, 
What'll work good is if you have like a step ladder or a stool or something. Oh, you'll probably need an extension cord and one of those splitter things that'll split one outlet into about three. You need about three. For more information on that, um, actually, Indie Mogul had a lot of stuff on that sort of thing. And, uh, well, what I just, j just did here is, because there wasn't enough light, I softened the edges, which I think will allow me to take more Luma away. Yes. So we're going to play around with this until he's just got a slight green glow, but we don't have that shuttery thing around him. Okay. So now this is pretty much done. And, um, now it looks like he's on the beach. And, uh, what you can do now is you can... I just recorded him as a torso. So he can be here, and another thing you can do... Have eggs. You filters. Perspective. Flap. Doop. And you see the difference. It's like that. Also, you can do, um... Uh, basic... Basic 3D is another thing. Video filters, perspective, basic 3D. And then you can filters, basic 3D. Okay, I can make him. I I can I can flip him around. I can flip him around that way. So it looks like he's sitting down in the chair and uh do something here. Make him, you know, all weird. But th this will help if you have to place your object, being you or your actor, you as the actor, or somebody else. And um, that's just about it for uh, for green screening. Um, if you need any more tips, uh, leave a comment. Drama Freak 219, this is especially for you, but if anyone else is watching, leave a comment too. That can help. And, uh, yeah, you can also fiddle around with this scale thing, but I wouldn't recommend it because you would I, I, you would probably rather fiddle around with the scale, the regular scale, as opposed to the basic 3D scale. And, uh, yeah, so have fun with it. That's, that's one thing. And, uh, this is on Final Cut. Express 3.5. So Final Cut Express 4. I'm not exactly sure what the differences are, but I will be getting Final Cut Express 4. I said 3, I'm sorry, I meant 4. Uh, I will be getting Final Cut Express 4 soon. I will update it if there are any differences. Alright, uh, thank you and goodbye.